The mother of one of three teenagers charged in the murder of a Jacksonville cab driver tells News 4 Jax her son is not a killer. 15-year-olds Tyon Williams and 17-year-old Tavion Williams, who are not related, were arrested along with 18-year-old Deron Brown. They're charged with armed robbery and murder in the shooting death of this man, 62-year-old Melvin Wright, January 30th. Brown's mother talked with Channel 4 Scott Johnson, who's joining us now live from the courthouse. Scott? Well, Tom Duran Brown, I was in court with him when he was here in court facing a judge yesterday. Nothing happened. The case was passed. He will be back in court tomorrow morning, and we should learn a lot more about the charges against him and what's coming next. But I met with his mom today who says her son would never be involved in something like this. She thinks he's being set up. Sherelle Walker says she was at work when detectives showed up at her home to arrest her teenage son, Deron Brown Jr., on murder charges. How did you find out about it? Um, the detectives came, kicked in my door while I was at work one night, and um, my um, son said they had a search warrant, came to look for my son, and I was like, what in the world for? And they, and they said for a murder charge. Deron Brown Jr. is one of three teens accused of murdering yellow cab driver Melvin Wright in what was described as an armed robbery plot. Police say Deron Brown pulled the trigger. The 18-year-old's mother is pointing fingers at the other two suspects, Tion Williams and Tavion Williams, who are not related, saying they are implicating him in a crime he would never commit. Yeah, implicating you right. Implicating it, um... Just trying to maybe keep the heat off of them. But so you think he'll be free again when this is all done? Oh, well, sure. I, I'm sure it really, he'll be free because he's not the killer, so the shooter. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that he will be free if, he, if, they, if, if they just, you know, get right down to the bottom of it, yes. Mm -hmm. Walker tells me she's meeting with a private attorney now to determine what's best for her son, who she's very confident will be released from jail when this investigation is over. He's a good child. Um... I don't know why anybody's trying to accuse him for being that type of person. And the judge at yesterday's hearing was concerned about the fact that they hadn't really set up an attorney, be it a public defender or a private attorney, for Brown at the time he was in court. The judge is urging the public defender's office to make sure he has representation going into court tomorrow morning. Now, we also spoke with the Wright's family. He's the victim in this case after the arrests were named. They did sympathize with these families, saying these they were concerned about these arrests for three teenagers so young. Can't imagine what these families are going through. We're live downtown at the courthouse. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.